Well, I'm out here looking for some some wood for my project. And I'm going to check out this birch this birch log. It looks like about the right size. I have to cut it down some. I know I'm looking into the sun now. I've got to move this over somewhere. But I'm just going to check it out. But, oh, this is going to work. I know it probably won't be real accurate here. Let's see if I can line her up. Yeah, anyway, there's a birch log laying there. And I'm just going to go check it out. Find out if it's worth my time or not. Making sure ain't nothing come down on my head. Well, I saw. No reason for you to watch me saw. So, here we go. All right. I saw it. I saw it off that chunk of birch. It's a little longer than I need, but I don't know how it's going to behave. It's just birch, and I uh, I could pick some other woods I'd rather have, maple or ash or something, but. We'll give it a try with this. At least I'll get the process started. You can show what I'm talking about. If you haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, I'm going to tell you what it is. I need a couple of canoe paddles or boat paddles. No, not oars or a duck boat, but I, just, I like to use canoe paddles. And I haven't made one of these in years, but anyway, I'm going to show the process. I got I bought a piece of cedar from the lumber yard just in case I couldn't get out here and find something. I didn't know how long this project was going to go on. There's a contest going on. I didn't know how long it was going to go. So I'll just uh, show what I'm doing and then we'll go from there. All right. I'll uh, move the log and kind of set it up. Show more in a minute. And just a quick clip of what I used. I use a spin saw. I just got this here a little while, but maybe a year ago. I have only used it like twice. A uh, little collapsible saw. Thought I'd try it out. Seems to be doing all right. Pretty sharp. The other thing I got is this uh, I don't know, little baco. 
All right, I got the log position on the other side of the log, and uh, there's another little stick kind of holding it from moving. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how it goes. I may not even end up using this. I'm just going to do some test runs here and see if I can plank this out. So anyway, I'm going to make the cuts. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to make the cuts, but you can see right there was my test cut. Just here, see if I can get close. That was a test cut to see how good the wood was. It, it's a little. A little less desirable than I like, but, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, notch it up. So, anyway, I'll be back. Oh, and I got one of them already. And that was just from moving the log around. Yeehaw. <laughs> Take the hill. <laughs> Alright, what I've done is I've made a series of cuts all the way down that piece. i got to loosen stuff up here so I can turn this thing. But anyway, there's... Here's my initial check cut. I made another about a foot or so away, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one, and now down there is the butt end. So that's the next step, and that's just on the one side of the lock. So we'll stop at that, and I'll come back. All right. Now, I, uh, what I've done is I've those series of chops that I made is. I turned the log on its side, made sure my feet were well out of the way so when the axe swung, it sw I'll show you in a second, so it swings past me, but that's not going to come off and hit me. Get out of the way, Duke. Duke, get out of the way. Anyway, so anyway, here's, I'll see if I can, you know, anyway. So I flattened it out on one side. I left one notch left just so you can see, and I'll show you what I was talking about, but I hope, I got it zoomed in, but. I have to turn it to the left side because I'm right-handed. I suppose you could do it on the other side, but I, I do it the way I like to do it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to turn this log, and I'm also going to show you something else about that bark. The bark on this tree, I don't know if you see what I'm doing or not, but the bark... There, right over here, maybe you can see. See, after I've done all that, see this bark is peeling off. This is a river of gray birch here. This is not a paper birch. But see, look. See that? There's even a little, a little baby false tinder fungus or a uh, Fomes fomentarius right there. But there's a chunk of birch bark right there. I'm going to set that off the side anyway. But going back to what I was saying, see, I've got a, a flatten by cutting those notches and then I come by and I, I chop. I don't know if I'm on the camera or not. I chop. And uh, I'm making one side basically flat. And then when I get that flat, I can lay it over on the other side and repeat the process on the other side. What I'm trying to do is basically make a board out of this thing. So I'm going to move this over. I don't know if it's going to be in the camera or not. But I'm going to show you what I did. Now, there's just, this is that original notch I made over there. But I don't know. I'm going to put my butt in the camera. But I don't know if this is a good way to do this. You know what? I'm going to move the camera. I'm trying to keep this because the sun's behind the camera. But I'll try moving the camera. Let's see if this works. Knock the camera over. Alright. Yeah, I'm into the... Check them out. I'll zoom out. A little bit. Alright, I'll see if I can do this. Without causing myself some troubles. But anyway. So here's my last notch. The log was laying like this earlier when I showed it to you. But now I'm going to take this notch and I'm going to turn it sideways like this. I don't know if that's in the camera or not. Now I'm going to get my damn legs out of the way. And all I'm doing is I'm continuing my cut. But I want to keep my feet out of the way. So I want the cuts to go that way. And I'm not swinging very hard. Just enough to knock it loose. Take. I'm, basically going, I'm cutting past my legs. So I know there's a tree there, but it's not that far away. It's not going to bother me. And all I'm doing is just trying to flatten out that side. Okay, and once I got that side flattened, I don't know if you can see this now or not, but now I got roughly one side flat. I see I need to take a little bit more out here and a little more there. So I'm going to finish that up. But now you got the idea, I hope. And I'll come back. Okay, <laughs> slippery out here is 
snow's melting and it's gotta be about 60 degrees right now. But anyway, what I've done is I've flattened, flattened, basically roughly flattened one side of this. And pull this bark off. Set it up to the side. bark off except well most of it anyway but uh now it's time to work on the other side kind of wish i had snow because now i got a little bit of dirt on this side i don't like doing that with the oh you gotta play with the birch bark huh all right but now i can take this side and do the same thing with the notches so i'll do that next oh the camera's way up anyway you, get, you can hear me talking maybe you can get the idea All right, I basically repeated the process on the other side. I'm a little off on that last one. I can see this one is closest to me. But, uh, okay, stop knocking stuff down. But anyway, you can get an idea maybe what I'm doing. I put the notches in. Now I'm on the opposite side and I'm putting the notches in. So I can make this thing work. Yeah, see? Putting the notches in all the way down. And I do the same thing. I clean out those notches. All right. Take a break from that. Move on. Okay, roughly I've done the same thing that I did the other side. This time I made the notches a little bit deeper because once I looked at the side profile, I knew I needed to go a little deeper. So I'm using them as a depth gauge, those notches I'm talking about. Here, I'll get close up, baby, to help. See, this time I, I went down a little deeper with those cuts. I'll try to show this a little deeper on this side. And that's kind of like a depth gauge to let me know when I'm getting close to the to the thickness of the wood I want. Now I put the axe on the end to help me tip it back and forth, but now I'm gonna look back over this way. You see I see the axe in the end. See I'm narrowing it down. My original cut is on the far side away from me and the camera. And I'm just trying to roll on it. But you see how it's now it's taking a board shape. So basically what I've been doing is hewing with a <laughs> with a little freaking axe. I've been hewing this log down. So, now this is about as far as I'm going to go today with this out in the woods. It's getting, the, the temperature's coming up and it's getting really mucky out here. And I don't like the conditions. It's uh, slippery and I, uh, I don't want to get hurt. I'm out here by myself. So, anyway, I'm going to go make something to eat. Maybe I'll show you some of that. But, all right, that's enough for now.